In this video, we're going to do everything that you can do as a Destiny free-to-play player to see if it's worth it, starting with beginner activities all the way up until the current endgame. And the main three things that I need to do to be able to reach this endgame are to level up my gear score to 1800 power. I wouldn't normally recommend this as a new light, but I'm doing it for my own challenge since I'm a seasoned player. You're also going to want to have gear with decent stats on it, and then we need an arsenal of weapons that will be able to take out all the enemies in the endgame content. Here's a list of weapons that I will be aiming for, and you can acquire all of them as a free-to-play player. The Hothead Rocket Launcher, a Riptide Fusion Rifle with Chill Clip, a Taipan Linear Fusion Rifle with Triple Tap and Firing Line, an Eager Edge Sword for movement, the Thunderlord Exotic Machine Gun, Risk Runner Exotic Submachine Gun, the Funnel Web Submachine Gun, the Retrace Path, which is a Trace Rifle, the Aikilo Submachine Gun, Hardener Dust Grenade Launcher with Blinding Grenades, very important. And finally, the Sleeper Simulant Exotic Linear Fusion Rifle. These weapons aren't all necessary to do the endgame content, but I would highly recommend getting them if you can. The good old licensing agreement that Dave didn't read before he lost the lawsuit. We know this one. Destiny 2 Free to Play 2023. All right, now the million dollar question is, what do I pick that's not Hunter? I think I did Hunter last year. I think we should play Titan. Since we just did Warlock for the, the Ron video, let's do Titan. Requires Destiny 2 Lightfall for Arbaleth. You guys know I have to say it. This is the quality of a $800 million game right here. Oh, it doesn't even kill you. Bro, look! Look at that! This requires reading. If you don't know how to read, this game is probably not for you. Bro, shooting like a new light too? Listen, chat, stop bullying me. It's your first time I recommend Gambit. It's so fun. Yeah, man. Oh, I remember playing this mission in 2014. Oh, I do. Because I used to have the speedrun record on this mission. The last array. Oh, chat, for this, we definitely have to count the amount of pop-ups, though. Since we're on a free-to-play account, I think we're going to get a lot of purchase this pop-ups. Wait, wait. Wait, I'm a new player. I don't know that yet. Who is this new character? Amanda Holiday. Nice to meet you. She's a fire character. Really? She's a firebender? That's crazy. Something's a little off in the tower today. Can't put my finger on it. Hmm. All right. Look at all these materials, man. I'm rich. Does this count? Because it did tell me to go here, and then there's a big advertisement in my face. No? We'll, we'll let that one slide. Get him, Strand guy! Nice. Good work, Guardians. You are truly thoughtful. Let Zavala know you've reached Guardian rank 2. Oh, I'm sure he could fucking hear that from over there. Are you kidding me? And I'm also all gold! There, there it is, number one. Number one and two at the same time. Oh, it's only 7,500 for Thunder Crash? It's way cheaper than I thought it was. Alrighty. Wait. What do you mean not yet unlocked? I just interacted with it and it's not available. Hello? I just got scammed! I just got finessed by Baldi! There we go. Alright, there's the juice. I'm a statue. Did I just do something? Imagine logging on as a new player and you just get info dumped like this, dude. What do you mean you're throwing me in the first mission? Okay. All right. Um, armor mods, Nessus, mission. I, I think I have to play. Bro, I did open my menu. All right, well, I don't have a choice. I guess I gotta play what I'm loaded into. Oh, here it is, man. For free? For free? Whoa. Waiting for it. It's coming, here it comes. There it is, there it is. Get it now, bye, bye, bye. So in order to unlock Europa, I need 180,000 XP. Dreaming City, I need 360,000 XP. An objective is to land on the EDZ, and then I need three public events. Someone in chat brought up a good point. How is risk reward in the EDZ? And it lands me in the Cosmodrome. Whoa! My first exotic gun! Risk Runner. Okay, so I'm gonna, in order to increase my XP gains, I'm gonna dump a little bit of materials so I can get up to... Let's see if I can get up to five. There we go, I'm gonna get that 10% boost, which is good. We're like brothers now. Wow, you're just really gonna abandon your brother like that? Become a star baker and you just... The ego all go... It goes to your fucking head, huh? 
Did it just bug? Did it bug again? Oh, hell no. Okay, so again, put yourself in the shoes of a new light, though. If that happens, what do you think they're gonna do? Because I'm, I'm wondering if it doesn't, like, do anything bad or even worse if you go to orbit. Apply shaders to your gear. I don't have any shaders. Surely the only option is to dump my wallet, right? All right, I'm gonna launch a Dares of Eternity. Here we go, guys, we're back. Eight champions in the heist battlegrounds put. Okay, I guess I want to see a magic trick. You don't actually have to throw the ball. All right, uh, what is that, four? Rounding the, the glimmer scraps off the floor. 7,400, well, I got enough now. Year one shader bundle. Kaboom. Guardian rank objective complete. Man, I'm just doing seven birds with one stone here. We're gonna start this, get juiced up a little bit more. Is Witch Queen free to play? Mm, first couple missions. The Gordita is not bad. All right, woo! -hoo! There's another one. We're up to five. In order to rank up, I need to buy a weapon from Banshee. We have any good options? Chill Clip Fusion. Chill Clip Fusion. 30 legendary shards? I'm broke! Epic. Acquire bounties from Commander Zavala. Ooh, commend other players in Vanguard Ops. Meet Lord Shaxx and the Drifter. So I'm really confused. If, th if this was supposed to be teaching players about the game, then why do they already have the mission where they introduce you to all these people? Okay, man, I'll open the Gambit Director, okay? Good Lord. Oh, I have to reopen the menu. Destinations. Iron... The fuck do you mean Iron Banner? Wait, it's Iron Banner this week. Didn't they just redo the UI last year to like sort out all these quests? As a new player, I already have 11 quests. These Guardian ranks are supposed to teach you about the game, which they do a little bit. Some of them. Not many of these, uh, these Guardian ranks require you to do any of this stuff. It just requires you to like meet this guy pick up four bounties do two bounties oh my god i get to play the new strike as a free to play does someone want to tell me how you can be that bad at driving a sparrow um okay where can i get legendary gear anybody know where i can find legendary gear requires destiny to beyond lights to purchase bounties oh my god guys is that master chief Holy guacamole. Wee! All right, now that I've gotten 10 pieces of armor, I can now get to rank five. Rank five already. We're getting up there, man. Equip slot specific mods on armor. Complete weekly vendor challenges. Trials introduction. Increase the energy level piece of an armor. Nice. Increase the masterwork level of a weapon. Nice! Bungie item available for purchase! Woo! You've won the ability to give us more money! Joke's on you. I'm free to play. Oh, joke's on me! Number eight! Requires Destiny 2 Beyond Light. You have to buy Beyond Light for an exotic that came out in D1. I genuinely, bro, I forgot you could get weapons out of there. You know what really, like, doesn't make sense when you think about it? Like, go, circling back to, like, the Hawkmoon thing. How come Vogue and Kingsfall are free to play, but Hawkmoon isn't? Because they're all D1 content. This gives the Taipan. Well, what would be better? Wait, it, wait, wait, wait. It's telling me to play Wellspring. I can't play Wellspring. The only option I have is theirs. Bro, I often wonder, like, sometimes what these people are thinking when they're just, like, walking around. They're not doing the objective. What are they thinking? Like, they just walk around and are just not shooting. Six enhancement cores for that. 35,000 Glimmer. Bro, I'm convinced you could complete 99% of this game with just a mini hammer. Important target, Guardian. Kill me 
Dude, it's even indestructible to trains, man. A train just ran over it. All right, it's nightfall time. No, bro. I hope somebody has unstop on, please. I don't think these guys know what unstop is. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, bro, please break his shoulder. What am I... Why? 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 Why the fuck are those in here? Oh, no. <laughs> are you joking? Fucking bitch. Oh, these guys can't stay alive. Not that I can either, but... I think these guys are higher light than me. Yeah, this is a quest step that they wanted new lights to do. Like, I'm all for difficulty, but like, at a certain point, ammo for the weapons that you that you have that are like bad weapons is just unbearable. People cheat in every video game, you know? They look up cheese, cheese whiz here, there, everywhere. And I don't blame anybody for cheesing this if you have this bad of weapons. I really don't. Because we would, dude, this is already a 30 minute nightfall. We would have been here for, I'm not kidding, an hour. What's she gonna do? Shoot me from down there? Radiant? <laughs> All right, I better get like 8,000 accommodations for that. Boys, it's time. Please pray for your boy. Okay, okay. Wait, do I get, do I get surges now? I think I do. Complete the lifefall campaign. Wait, so you're, you're gated behind, uh, oh dude, that's right. You're gated behind by forever level six, boys. Is that guy still welding the tower over there? Look at him go, dude. That guy's been welding the same piece of metal for like five years. Oh, rats. Okay, well, we're, somebody remind me to come back to Zer, please. It needs to be the outgoing one, right? Wait, elemental surge. Wait, I can't use stasis. Your RNG locked out of getting a penny. Wait, can I do? Bro, I thought the strikes were free. The strikes aren't free? Wait, hold on. Hold on. You can play the Witch Queen strikes. Strikes, yes, but Nightfall is not. But the Nightfall is a strike! Okay, so I can't do any of the strike pennies this week. Free to launch the game. Yeah, free to launch. The one thing that I think is not fair is when they, they throw, they keep all these icons on the map like you're actually able to play it. Like, oh, last wish. Oh my god, that's a pinnacle? No way. Oh, rats, I gotta buy it. Okay. I wonder, are there any GMs that I can do as a free-to-play? Lake, maybe? Lake and arms dealer. So I need, I need eight bounties, eight war table bounties for this free penny, but let's see if chat was right here. Oh, there's my engram tracker. So let's see if I can... You're telling me... I have to pay to pick up a bounty that I kill with weapons and then get XP for. The only thing I think I have left is this free seasonal mission. Pretty sure that's a juicer. Ah, uh, dude, what is a? Does anybody know what the count's up to? I, I. So that's that's a crazy difference I'm already already noticing. Is like on the other video where I just bought Lightfall for an account, or if you buy like one DLC, it seems that it doesn't push these nearly as hard. I can't even do the Battlegrounds playlist. I just played one. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do this. I can do these three. And this, I can't do this. I can do this. I can't do this. I can't do either of these this week. I can do this and I can do this. And no, I can't play trials. I can play these though. So here's the even crazier part that I realized. Let's say you own every DLC, but Beyond Light, you still can't do this penny because you don't own stasis. Oh, these guys care. Oh, that's their wither horde. Dude, this is not good. Yeah, saw that coming. Play Olympics? Yeah. I queue on a free-to-play and I'm using two shit weapons. I'm playing people like care way too much. Dude, stop stealing my kills, you bitch! All right, we can buy the engram from Xur. Let's go do it real quick. Give me synthos. Give me syntheseps. 
You know, that's a probably about the next best thing that we could have got. I'm going to dive past the paywall. For this part, I performed an out-of-bounds glitch that allows you to get loot from the last wish raid, which is normally behind a paywall. This has been in the game for almost five years, and they have not patched it. You can do this once per character per week. We're going to go up here, and then we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here. Bing. There she blows. There's the rock I'm looking for. Oh, it's too easy, man. Free raid loot. All that oobing for an apex predator. You know, I was hoping for the hand cannon, but... 18 I'm about to get fisted and twisted. Oh, I can actually damage. Wait. Wait. This doesn't even hurt as bad as I thought it would. Look at me go, man. I'm about to take out a champ all by myself, dude. Watch us get a lightning round anyways. We got two retraced paths. I suck. Bro, these guys are bots, bro. Okay, so that's juice. Nice. Juice. Oh, my favorite. Oh, dude, we gotta finish this now. Bro, do not fucking do this to me. This game is fucking awful! Bro, I'm not kidding. I don't think I've played this mission since 2018. I thought they pulled this from the game. They never removed it. I swear to God, this, this mission hasn't been available. Unless I am blind. Okay, maybe it was a good thing we only had to do this mission once. I'm about to hit the honk shoe. What are you doing down there, Petra? Jesus Christ. Christ. We got STW Ninja and Astra the Buzz. They've been here for five minutes and haven't claimed either one of the towers. Hell yeah, brothers. Look at them. They're baking that champion. Oh, he's going crazy. Look at him go. Okay. I thought when they hit the shield that they would get blinded right away, but I guess that's not the case. Am I going to burn out? Bro, spawn. No. Dude, you can't even see me. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, we're at 14 minutes. Oh, dude, it's shock. I unfortunately got to cut my losses here. We have an exotic cipher. Feedback fences. Not, dude, they're insane. I mean, that juice. Wait, is that juice? That's mega juice. We're actually getting really good luck right now. Thunderlord Catalyst! Ooh wee! Um, let's take a look and see what our highest is. 1784. We are 16 points away from being able to do a GM. Oh, Exotech! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Synthoseps! Juice! Vanguard Booster. All right, that definitely counts as a purchase thing because it's talking about the pets thing. Oh! Guys, I think I figured out what the nightfall is. Plus seven? There it is. After doing my powerful drops every week for a month, I was finally high enough power to play Destiny 2's endgame activities, the Master Raids and the Grandmaster Nightfall. And I decided to throw in a solo dungeon for the fun of it. The only problem was though, is that the Master Raid and the Grandmaster Nightfall is on a weekly rotation. So I had to wait another week until a free to play raid and strike came around so that I could play it. Okay, so now would be a good time to do our solo prophecy then, I guess, right? Free to play, we're gonna, we're gonna live up the full experience, man. Please don't hit me. Alright. Thunderlord, blinding nades, and a hammer. That's all I need, right? So, about those rally flags. Um, looks like we're going in naked. I mean, let's be honest, I don't really need ammo anyways if I have long hammer. I did that, right? I did. Hammer DPS. Well, I just solo one phase with literally pressing melee. All right, no rally flags, so it begins. Right. It is light.
All right, now here's the issue. I still have no rally. What do I run? Thunderlord? All right, here we go. Oh, I just tried to rally. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's not a good start. Boom! Forgot about this guy. He's dead. Ooh, even more. Oh my heavy palooza! Alright, we're good. Doesn't hit me, bro. Why did it just spawn me in Uganda? Clearly, for what I'm using, I don't consider that bad at all. I have no arc surges on. I think I'm gonna pop my hammers first. He's still taking damage. Did you guys see that health bar move? This guy puppy guarding. What the fuck was that? Winnable? Let's go! Wait, was that flawless? Solo Flawless Prophecy on a free-to-play account with literally no rally flags and a new light doing a Grandmaster. I don't think I have ever seen this before. Ever. You won't be able to do any damage. That's just not true. Because we did Root of Nightmares 40 under light and it was like doing it normally. There's like no difference. Like they still take damage. They do have skulls over their name, but like... It's not like I'm doing no damage here. The one thing I, I, I'm kind of sad that we missed out on for this video is like using the new LFG system since they decided to not launch it with Lightfall, unfortunately. But that just gives me another chance to make another video in the future. Oh, there's a barrier there? My B-boys. I didn't know the barrier was over there. Help me. Ooh. The fact that I don't get one shot 40 under by that is kind of wild. Watch out. Yeah, back against the wall is a little, a little dangerous. Very nice. Alright, very good. Alright, here's where things get spicy because of the Tormentor. Oh, why are those... Those Scorpiuses are yellow? Uh-oh. Wait, he's just standing there. I mean, I'm not complaining. I just realized you never actually learn how to kill a Tormentor as a new light. I'm out of heavy, dude. This is actually kind of tragic. Also, did they change this Tormentor so he doesn't chase anymore? What is the, uh, what's the deal with that? Oh, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Ah, oh, Jesus. I got him. Like, as a new light, since you don't play the the Lightfall campaign. Or actually, wait, you can play the first couple missions, so technically you do learn. I lied. I lied. Alright, well, GM's going pretty smooth. We have 20 revives, so unless I absolutely throw here. Oh, please. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't realize those are gladiators. I'm fighting the forces out here! I didn't realize that many dogs came out of the door. Oh, my hammer's gone too. Rest in peace. What? 
Let's go. Wait, did he drop an exotic? Oh, I just got an exotic and two golf balls and a malicious birthright adept. Oh, there was an exotic. I think I just got two new exotics. Carried? What do you mean carried? I had 95 kills. What do you mean carried? And 50 orbs. Now here comes the hardest pain part of the whole thing. This does not feel like monster. <laughs> wow. Easy three, two, one. Man, you guys feel that too? Hey, listen, some of us out here can't suspend right now, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! That was scary. Oh, we're good. Yeah. I don't think you could suspend these ones yep. anyway. I think they're the bigger ones. Champs are dead. Oh, I got marked? How did I get... M <laughs> this looks like normal mode? Yes, it does. And it feels like normal mode. 35 power back under the day... In the day? That was fucking last wish, dude. You were getting bent over go? and fisted. Easy four horsemen, get the double. Oh wait, I need one more ascendant shard and I'll have a full set of masterwork gear. Make sure you're putting on Phoenix and we're standing in wells and stacking up top. One, three, three. We're good, dude. We're good, man. Five, six, Two. seven. Nice! We are gaming. I'm dead. <laughs> you got a fanatic coming in behind you. Send it! Fucking fucking try, Let's go! <laughs> dude, I got Frenzy and Thresh, dude. I am gaming. <laughs> he looks at me funny one more time, I'm gonna blow his brains out. <laughs> Pull out the full force. <laughs> oh, that would clap his cheeks, huh? This is not the time to join. <laughs> <laughs> no, he Fuck didn't see out. me. Who's I'm got the big anyway. shoes on, man? The other guy turned around. Like everybody's got a purple sword out, but me, man. What the hell is this? Did you shit yourself? Dude. Yes, you did. He smelled that. He <laughs> fucking <laughs> smelled that. Are we pushing off the one in Mars? Oh, you're yes, damn sir. right we are. Is your blood pumping after that? That looks really <laughs> yeah, epic, dude. dude. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> they no. increased the difficulty. The relics on the ground. Oh, the relic, the relic, the relic. <laughs> Go! But we don't call like that, surely. Sure. <laughs> Save. Guys, these barriers in the middle gotta fucking go. Guys, guys, guys. Since when do they spawn two on each side? There's three! There's fucking three! Kill him, kill him, kill me. Sacking, he's sacking, he's sacking. I think it's only us two. Oh. oh. I'm dead. Alright. Oh. People underestimated the end there. You wanna talk about that one? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. I'm ready to fucking destroy these guys, bro. I'm 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 mounted up, ready to go. You just about one tap to me across the map, dude. Oh my god. Bad idea. Move, move, bro. How many fucking harpies are there, dude? Holy shit, man. I'm fighting the horses. Right. <laughs> the horse, the horses. Yeah, I'm fighting the horses. Two phase, pause champ. Kill him! No! <laughs> no shot. I can't. I, I mean, I can. 
I think a cool breeze could come through and finish the boss off, dude. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what killed you? I hit a trick shot off the map. I hit the little suey, dude. Oh, rats! Uh, Clyde, you <laughs> suck, man. Get your damage up. And just like that, I completed Destiny 2's pinnacle slash hardest activities with the most bare-bone free-to-play weapons. Is the free-to-play experience worth it? Well, I think that answer's kind of complicated, because it's some yes and some no. For zero dollars and zero cents, you can do a lot of stuff in the game, which is pretty surprising. You can get a lot of the best weapons in the game, which is also very surprising, because many other games limit you behind a paywall to get the best stuff in the game, which is pretty obvious. For Destiny, um, the only downsides, or the main downsides that I see in the free-to-play experience are that you have to wait some weeks for rotations to come through for like raids or nightfalls or whatever to be able to play with your friends. And the biggest thing of all is being able to play with friends. I would not advise playing Destiny solo. There is some fun stuff that you can do solo. That's more of on the paid side, in my opinion. But there is a lot of stuff that you can do solo in free-to-play, but it is best enjoyed with friends. The game as a whole is best enjoyed with friends. If I didn't play with my friends, I honestly would have quit a long time ago. Anyways, take it for what it's worth. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.